Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company with part 4 on the fuzzy match tool where we look at Levenstein. I love this algorithm because it is so simple and easy to follow. So how does Levenstein work? Quite simply, Levenstein counts the changes required to get from one string to another. Let's look at my name as a first example. A mistake has crept into the spelling. We have to replace the E with an A. One letter is changed and the other five letters remain the same. From this information and the length of the word, in our example the word is six characters long, Alteryx derives the score. For this, both strings are used by taking the length of the string in the first step, that is six, and subtracting the number of changes, that is one, from it. We get five as the result for the first string. Since the second string is just as long, the value is also 5. We add the two values and divide them by the sum of the length of the two strings, that is 12. 10 divided by 12 gives 0 0.8 period 3. We multiply the value by 100 and get a score of 83. In the second example, we consider the case where the two words have different lengths. Let's say my name is missing the last letter. Again we only have to change one character. For the first string we get 6 minus 1, so 5 again, but for the second then 5 minus 1, so 4. The result is a value of 0 point period 81, from which we derive a rounded score of 82. The score is similar, but a little worse. What actually happens when we have to make more changes than a word is long? Here are two more examples. First, man and spider-man. Man has three letters and six letters need to be added to get the word Spider-Man. We therefore get minus three. The word Spider-Man is nine letters long and again we need to make six adjustments. We get a value of plus three. Minus three plus three is equal to zero. This gives us a score of zero. Secondly, copy and uncopyrightable. The word copy is four and the word uncopyrightable is 15 characters long. To go from copy to uncopyrightable we have to add 11 characters, so make 11 changes. 4 minus 11 gives minus 7. To go from uncopyrightable to copy, 11 characters have to be removed. The number of changes are of course always synchronous. 15 minus 11 equals 4. If we calculate the numerator, we get minus 7 plus 4 equals minus 3. The denominator is 15 plus 4 equals 19 and thus we get a score of minus 16. A negative score makes no sense and Alteryx accordingly does not show a score. Finally, one last example. Let's compare the two words idiot and genius. The word idiot is 5, and the word genius is 6 characters long. We have to make 5 changes each and get as a result, 5 minus 5 for idiot, plus 6 minus 5 for genius divided by 5 plus 6 equals 11. 1 11th equals a score of 9. We will see how JRO deals with this in the next video. Thank you for your time. We are happy to support you in the area of data science and location intelligence.